It was built even before the Kennedy Space Center was called the Kennedy Space Center. Now the causeway drawbridge that connects the NASA facility to the mainland will be replaced. A federal grant of $90 million was state and other funds to make up the difference to $120 million price tag. A new modern higher bridge will be built over the next four to five years. The lieutenant governor sees the new bridge contributing to the growth in the Space Coast. We know that Florida is the launch capital of the world and we intend to keep it that way. So with these continued developments and these opportunities for the space industry, we encourage business and we look to spur economic growth for this region and for our state. The new bridge will be a modern version of this bridge built in 1964. Not only will it provide a better route for the traffic going into the Kennedy Space Center, it will literally be the ground that the spaceships will travel on as they go to the Kennedy Space Center and the Cape for launches. I'm not sure that anyone back then would have imagined that the bridge would last so long as it has and that when it was going to be rebuilt, it would be providing access to the nation's premier multi-user spaceport. And with the growth of the space industry here, the new bridge might be outgrown much faster than the last one. In Brevard County, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.